This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead of everyone. September 7th, 2024, now only a day earlier from the time that I am recording this, with the video sat at 22 million views. Nikocado Avocado, after seven months of seemingly ghosting the internet, has genuinely just surprised everyone by showing up on camera with a video titled Two Steps Ahead, having lost 200 or so pounds. Now when it comes to the actual video itself, there's not really a lot that we can work with here. In my opinion, with the way that he acts, completely nothing has changed from when he last made a video rambling while he weighed over 300 pounds. He tries to put on this entire villain character, and you can tell the entire time that even he doesn't really know what he's talking about, but me personally, I just tried to ignore all of that because I was too shocked to even comprehend it in the first place. But when it comes to the way that Nikocado Avocado acts, we already know why he does it, we already know why he is the way he is, and there's actually a video explaining that that will be in the description by a certain YouTuber. But Nikocado Avocado himself and his personality is, I can guarantee you, not the main topic of interest when it comes to this video, it is very obviously the physical aspect of what we're being shown here. So the simple question of today's video is, what happened? How did he manage to lose this much weight this quick? Or is there actually more to it that we don't yet understand? And I'm hoping in today's video I can give a couple of theories that will maybe give reasons as to why this happened so suddenly. And I'm starting off today's video with theory number one, which is simply, we've been played. And what I mean by we've been played is that the timeline of Nikocado Avocado that we've been shown on his channel is not the exact same timeline of what he has actually been like in real life. I do not think that it takes a genius to understand that the amount of weight that he was seven months ago in comparison to the weight that he is now is achievable even if you do the most ridiculous, heinous form of exercise or diet plan that will genuinely rip the fat off of your body. So what do I mean by this? What I'm saying is, is that every video that we have seen up until seven months ago has been pre-recorded. A lot of people have said this already, but you do notice with the themes of his channel that he only really shows himself eating meals. That doesn't take any sort of time to do, it doesn't take any sort of date or any sort of setting. This could have happened years ago. And while he's been doing his entire fitness plan for what could have been at least maybe one or two years now, he's just been uploading old drafts and old archives of old mukbangs that he was doing while he was that heavy. And while we were on the outside seeing him very obviously uploading videos just assuming that's how he was at that moment in time, in reality he was behind the scenes going on some David Goggins grind for the past god knows how long. But unfortunately, there is something that contradicts this theory, and that is the channel Oompaville. Now, I've spoken about Oompaville in the last Nikocado Avocado video that I made, but basically, he's a YouTuber that got Nikocado Avocado to come down to where he'd live and filmed a few funny, satirical videos with him, a couple of interviews, and all of this happened around the period of summer to November of 2022. Now I don't know how quick weight can be lost, I know that it's completely different with absolutely everyone. Nikocado Avocado's metabolism might have been the most insane metabolism in the world, and considering that he just simply stopped eating as much, it could have just went all the way down. And the only way he was maintaining that weight is because he was just eating so much. But the Oompaville videos where he is very obviously still big, seem very recent in terms of time frame wise, so we're not sure if these were either recorded way earlier than they were posted, or something else is going on here. And this point brings me to theory number two, which is very much the most unlikely theory, but it is in some way, somehow, AI. 
Now I understand if you look at the video or if you look at the one TikTok that he's uploaded since uploading that video that all of it just seems extremely unlikely and even I myself debated even putting this in the video in the first place but at this point you never know. I do not know how strong AI is, I do not know how strong AI is when it comes to people that have a lot of money which is obviously not something that Nick Hikado Avocado has. And the ability of AI beyond what is accessible to us will probably be a higher ceiling when it comes to someone like him, so it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. But one other thing I would like to mention, and this is kind of doubling back to the last theory, but because I mentioned that one TikTok video I'd like to say something, I obviously do not know a lot of things when it comes to dances on TikTok trends. I've recently just been getting the most horrific gift talk TikToks will actually floor me. But according to a lot of people in the comment sections and people talking about Nikocado Avocado on TikTok, the dance that he's doing in this TikTok is very new which would not only debunk the AI-generated side of things, but it would also debunk the other side of the pre-recorded, almost, question that people have. And if you don't know what I mean by that, a lot of people are speculating that, no, the video wasn't pre-recorded in a sense where he was uploading mukbangs that were from years ago, very recently, but the video that he's just uploaded now, which was two steps ahead, was actually a video that he recorded before he gained all of the weight and he's only now just posted it now and made an effort to keep up this facade for years following the same routine of that one base video. But it's just all extremely unlikely given this TikTok. But enough about the rambling from two things that seem very out of reach because I'm bringing us now onto theory number three which is probably the most likely theory out of all three of them. And for this theory, I'm going to refer to another internet presence right now with the name Faze Lacey. Lacey, to my knowledge, I don't really keep up with that side of the internet, was basically just a Fortnite streamer and content creator for many years until he recently got filled into the new Faze house, which is a complete sh state, but that's a different topic for another video. But again, it doesn't take a genius to realize, if you look at all of the clips that I'm showing of him right now, he's not exactly the skinniest of people. He's a bit fluffy, but randomly, seemingly out of nowhere over the past few months, you can see gradual changes such as going from this to very recently with his most recent piece of content that he's put out, showing him looking like this. And whether he has confirmed this himself or whether this has been leaked, I have no idea. But the reason that he has lost this much weight in this amount of time is not by any diet plan, not by any exercise routine, but by a drug used to treat diabetes called Ozempic. It's said that one of the biggest at first was a side effect, but then was eventually turned into a treatment for obesity and weight problems. One of the main side effects was that it would make you lose weight very drastically. The status that you would need to fit in order to purchase this drug was eventually starting off with some sort of diabetes or blood pressure related problem, eventually turning into just simply if you have a weight problem. And you can see, considering how Lacey has taken these and the drastic change that you've seen over the past couple months with the photos that I'm showing now, that when you look at someone like Nikocado Avocado, who also had an excuse to take them in the first place because I'm pretty sure he did also have diabetes. That this theory seems the most realistic out of the three, and I wouldn't be surprised if Nikocado Avocado taking Ozempic in order to lose this much weight that quick, whether it was in the span of a year or the actual seven months that we've seen, I see this as the most viable theory. Those are just the few things that are on my mind after seeing the video uploaded by him. In my personal opinion, the only thing that matters about a person is their personality. And judging by the video, and I've watched all of it, I can reassure you, he doesn't seem like he's changed one bit. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, because in my last video I did explain that's not actually him. He's just doing it for YouTube retention, he's doing it for money. It's, it's very hilarious at this point, because I certainly did not expect that when I woke up and looked at my phone one day. I just hope that whatever it is, he's fine and he's healthy, because I've noticed that when looking at the video a bit closer, although he does look a lot better in terms of body build, he doesn't seem completely all there. And you can notice things such as the redness around his eyes and the bloodshot and the drastic almost body change that 
I don't know if he was just maybe a little unwell on recording that day, or maybe it's just bad camera lighting, but he seems a bit unhealthy, not when it comes to weight, but when it comes to himself in general. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is the first one in a while. I don't know if it's going to be too long, don't know if it's going to be the greatest quality, but I know all of you that stuck around after the case video simply just enjoy the format of our videos, and that shouldn't be a problem in the first place. So again, thank you all so much for the recent support, and I'll hopefully see you sooner than usual. Have an amazing rest of your day. Goodbye. Thank you.